hello friends welcome to a new video and this is the CP2112 board uh, from the silicon labs and this uses a simple chip you can see the chip here silicon 2112 and we can use this board to debug uh, some i2c or smbus something like that so i will use this board to read laptop batteries this is a laptop battery from the Lenovo. I already configured this with uh, some other tools like the FX2LP. You may be uh, remember that board. So this is the Cypress FX2LP board. But unfortunately, this board got damaged by uh, a direct supply from the laptop. So this time I will make sure no more supply will go <laughs> into this chip. And additionally, there is a software protection for this chip the cp2112 if we do not or if you are not uh, set the software software protection uh, the chip will overwritten by some softwares and we cannot use it with any other softwares so we have to make sure this is software protected so let's get into my pc so here you can see this is the cp2112 website the silicon labs website and here you can see the specs tech tools and the software and tools if you scroll down you can find the usb host sdk for windows you can click on it and it's nearly 180 mb so here it will ask for download i already downloaded the file and you can install it and the install setup will be like this silicon labs usb host sdk and there is a CP2112 board and on the release if you want you can read the documents on the release click on the 32 bit version and there is a hit SMBus example open it and you can see there is no device is connected right now so I am going to connect my CP2112 with my PC Okay, now you can see it is detected that you can see the serial number here and the vendor ID product ID click connect you can see the part number version and some additional files like the SMBus settings we don't we do not need to set these things and you can uh, use this data transfer option to read and write the EEPROM this is the pin configuration the GPIO pins we can set and there is a customization this is the very important uh, settings here because uh, we need to set this before we uh, we are going to use any software like the BE2 works everybody knows this software the battery EEPROM works unfortunately that EEPROM works software that the battery EEPROM works software overwrite this vent ID and the product ID so the device will not work with uh, any other uh, softwares so that's a bad thing and first we need to override this i already overrided the files with the default settings you can see the default here if you not seeing this click on the get so you can see the success and the vendor id product id will be shown here just don't need to change this if you want to change the serial number you can change the product name you can change you don't need to actually uh, change this just click on the set so this will set and select these two options when ready and the product ready click on the set and whatever the options or whatever the values you are going to give one it will automatically reset this value uh, if you click on the get do not use this field the lock byte you know you, you do not use use this section when ready product ready and the serial number so the, the, the only these three options are needed set set that's it now you can see a warning here if locked once locked the field cannot be programmed on unlocked so click on no do not click on this site always use this site so that's it so these are some softwares uh, i got from the internet for the bcp2112 you can see the uh, dj battery killer and the battery eprom works so this is a demo version it will ask for the usb click open just wait for it 
we can actually see the LEDs are blinking on the CP2112 you can see it's a demo version and you can choose the ICs let me connect my battery to the board so here I connected the data clock ground to the CP2112 read the battery again it will show the status here adapter status battery status so you can see the data values so this is a 4400 so you can see it's a 4.4 ampere battery 10.8 output voltage this is a fully functional battery you can see the cell cell voltages here the total voltage and the output voltage this is a design voltage but this is the voltage that actually uh, inside the battery battery the charging current and the charging voltage is zero uh, we need to reset this board i will show you how to read and write the bq38030 by using a another software with the dji battery killer so this software is actually used for the dji not for the laptop batteries but this is useful software click on the connect select bq now you can see the values are reading but some values are not matched because uh, the assembler's configuration or the, the the values are different for different batteries that's why it is showing different values also you can see there is an error it's natural but uh, we can use the finger section we can use this eprom and the write eprom function to read the ic and i will show you it that in the next video if you if you want anything you can comment below if you need any uh, additional softwares any additional help you can comment below and you can check the links on the description box that's it thanks for watching this video